What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, Great Legend is here. BT4 Great Legend is here, and I am delighted. Now, straight off the bat, I must tell you this box was provided by the lovely folks over at Millibolds Gaming. This is a sponsored opening, and I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, and I've told you this before. The reason I go for sponsored openings for people like Millibolds Gaming is because they are cool. They are not the only people I think I could get to do a sponsored opening. I say get, they offered. But like I said, for other Digimon sets, there were other shops that asked. And I told them no. And the reason is extremely simple. I am only willing to talk about and recommend cool shops that look after us. One of the things you're going to find with BT4 is that supply is a little bit more out there. I mean, there's still some allocation. It's not perfect, right? But there are more shops that are going to have it. And a lot of shops are going to be bringing their price down a little bit. Should be able to find it at RRP far more easily than the other two sets. Can we look after shops like Millibolds Gaming, yeah? Can we go to shops like that? Because remember when Booster 1.0 and 1.5 and the first lot of Starter Decks were in really high demand and people were charging literally three times the price for the red Starter Deck? Did you know who wasn't? Let's look after cool shops. Seriously, I mean, link in the description. Check them out. They should. People often say, oh, what's he right? Over on Twitter, you're always moaning about shops that are charging above. Can you give us examples of shops that aren't scalping, that are looking after us? Well, here's a great example. Millibods, they're awesome. Seriously, if you want to get some Digimon, they're a shop I would highly, highly recommend. Yes, this is a sponsored opening, so it is not completely unbiased. However, there is a reason I said yes to them, whereas there are literally other shops for Digimon where I have said no. Now, I know my hair's a bit unruly. My plan was to get a haircut tomorrow and then do the opening. But it turned up today, a, a day earlier than I was expecting. What am I going to do? Not open it? No, ladies and gentlemen. Too excited. Now, when you buy a box, you do get two dash packs. It is one dash pack. It's actually changed a little bit for this set. It is one dash pack for either 12 packs of cards. That is half a box. Or... Two starter decks. So you can actually now get the dash packs with the starter decks. So, there are three potential cards available. There's a War Greymon, a Granku Wagamon, and a Metal Garurumon. And in the first one, we get... Ooh! A Black... Oh, sorry, Black War Greymon. Not regular War Greymon. We do have a Hollow there. It is a Hollow Black War Greymon. It is a, frankly, beautiful card. Um... Oh, I love that. Now here, I don't have a, a really strong preference in terms of what I want to open. To be perfectly honest with you, I mean, first I want to have some sleeves to put these beautiful cards in so they don't get wrecked. But mostly here, I, I want them all. Now look, there are three different ones. And I've only got two dash packs. I don't think this will be my last box of the set. So, honestly, what would be awesome is if I could get two different ones here so that it would then be easier for me to potentially collect the set later. Or, I mean, Granky Wagamon's my favourite, but that's just because I play a whole bunch of green. I have shown you Black War Greymon and Granky Wagamon winning decks. So, and I, I got the Japanese versions of two of these. I don't think the Japanese, and I could be wrong about this, I need to double check this. I don't remember the Japanese versions being foil. I think that's different here. And it is, oh, don't open it off camera, Wossy. We'll come on. It is, <laughs> of course it is, Metal Garurumon. So that basically means that I said, hey, I want one of these. And they were just like, yeah, you, you can have the other two. I don't think many people, I think I'll probably be all right with that. Now, let's see if I have just, I have many, many, many piles of cards on my desk from various places here. Here we go. So here is a Japanese Metal Garurumon that we can use. I know this is a Digimon opening, not Pokemon. Look, I've got cards everywhere, all right? You should know that by now. If we put the Japanese and the English version next to each other, you will notice the English version is hollow. The Japanese version is not. I know they're sleeve, but still. The Japanese version is non-hollow. The English version is hollow. So that's actually, I did not know that. I was completely unaware of that. That is, that is a really cool little bonus here. So I don't know if, if Japan has had hollow versions of these. I'm not aware that they have. 
That is a nice little tip for any of you. If you ever intend to do any trading with Japanese players, collectors, etc., make a note of the cool stuff that we get that Japan doesn't, because Japanese players are really going to want that if you ever get a chance to trade with them. So, something to remember. That seems cool. That's something I need to do a bit more research into that after the video as everything just off camera falls down and breaks. But I am not aware of these being released as hollows in Japan. Certainly the versions that I've got are non-hollow. So seeing them as hollows, that's kind of cool. Now the other thing you get with BT4 is you get yourself a Great Legend power-up pack. And this gives you two of eight random promos. So... We get ourselves a Hollow Gatamon and a non-Hollow Agunimon. Now, I could be wrong here, but I believe you get a Hollow and a non-Hollow in a pack. I've not opened enough to really see. It might be even rarer than that. They are all available as Hollow and non-Hollow. And the Agunimon is the one that's really good with Ancient Greymon. And the Gatamon lets you recover. So, yeah, these are good cards. There is an argument that these promos probably shouldn't be quite so good because they're not going to be so easy to find, but hey-ho. Now, again, right, I haven't even got to the box yet. I haven't even got to the box and we've already opened up four promos. That is pretty gosh darn cool. So, let's put those all over to the side and let's get into the box proper. As always, 24 packs in a box. And remember with BT4, we are syncing with Japan. S-Y, not S-I. So what that means is our BT4... Now, again, we have bigger packs than Japan. But that's a standard thing. That's for the majority of card games. But BT4, there are 115 cards in ours, 115 cards in Japan. The commons, uncommons, etc. are exactly the same. We are now basically having the same sets as them. Now, that is always going to annoy me a little bit because it means that our third set is BT4. And our fourth set is BT5, and we're always going to be one number away, and that's kind of annoying. But hey-ho. Sooner or later, they'll drop the BT and just go straight for the names. And we have a box topper promo, which is Marcus Damon. Nice. You do get the box topper as well. It is one of the tamers as a lovely full art hollow. So you get your power-up pack and your two dash packs and your box topper before we've even gotten going here. Now, the one big change, I don't know how much other people care about this, in the previous sets, there have actually been four different artworks, the one from Japan and three extras. With the advent of Great Legend, they have moved, so there is only one different type of artwork available. They all have the exact same artwork, which is kind of cool. Right, so... Let's get rolling on the box proper. Now, again, we are expecting to have two super rares or alternate secret rares or alternate arts and seven supers per box. So, we're not going to spend too long on the commons and uncommons here because we're going to see them over and over again. There's your Dokunmon, your Jack Ray, there's your Voltramon. That's a cool card, extra security attack. There's your Kudamon, Sound Birdmon has started popping up a little bit lately. Seals Dramon. Bukamon, and then we got a rare of Thomas H. Norstein and Pollen Spray. So those are our two rares. And then again, we've got half of a memory gauge. And what I do appreciate is that Bandai, they are actually changing them up between sets. So the memory gauges from this do not actually look the same as the ones from Booster 1.0 and Booster 1.5 which I do think is very, very cool indeed. Oh, I accidentally took a peek. There is something cool in here. Uh, the number one card we're looking for here is Alternate Art Loosemon. That is the best card in the set. People go crazy over Loosemon. So there's your Gusokamon. There's your Geogreymon. There's your Cyclonic Kick. Labramon is a very cool card. Lets you draw a card. Oh, there is your Rise Razzlemon. I don't know. Lotus Mon. Bancho Golem Mon. Man, it's a level 6 party. Chaos Mon is a very nice rare. And it is Loose Mon. It's not the alternate art of Loose Mon. It is the regular art. But goodness gracious, that's a ridiculous pack. Chaos Mon is the best rare in the set. 
And now we've got Loosemon in as well in the same pack. Yes! <laughs> that will do very nicely indeed for our first. And that is a secret rare, incidentally. So that is one of our two secret rares or alternate arts. Loosemon is a very sought after card. Like I say, it is the alternate art of Loosemon that is the most sought after of them all. Do I need to. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna sleeve up Chaos Mon anyway because it's a very cool card. Sees a, a bunch of play. It's a very good rare card. Nice. All right. Well, that escalated very very quickly. <laughs> what was that pack number two? And we're already rocking a loose Mon. <laughs> oh, nice. We still want the alternate art loose Mon, of course. The alternate art is definitely the best among them. But if you look at early listings, and we are talking early listings here, Loose Mon is generally listed as like the third best card in the set, or sorry, the fourth best after the alternate arts of Loose Mon, War Greymon, and Ninogmon. But regular Loose Mon comes above all the alternate arts other than those and all of the other, you know, it really is a very, very good card. So, I mean... I'm already thinking this is not a terrible box. If you open Loose Mon as one of your secret rares, because it is a, it's a kind of card that fits into a lot of decks. It's a level 3, but it's got 10,000 power. It's a 13 cost to play, but there's plenty of ways to basically cheat it into play. It sees a huge amount of play. I personally love Anubis Mon. It's a very cool card. And we've got Varodramon and Kari Kamiya as our rares. So it sees a huge amount of play. And probably will continue to moving forward. And then the fact that it's a secret rare, so it's harder to pull. But a lot of people will want, like, a playset. Yeah. And to be fair, like, we're doing quite well. In all three boxes of Booster 1.0, I pulled an Omnimon. In my box of Booster 1.5, I only actually opened one box that. I don't know what's wrong with me. We pulled an Alter S. And now we've gone and pulled a Loose Mon as well. See, it's awkward. Because generally speaking, when I pull the good cards like that, I'm like, oh, I kind of want to sell it to buy more Digimon. But that Loosemon card is so cool, I don't think I can bring myself to do it. Commandramon, I adore this. I'm going to make a D Brigade Commandramon deck. So I want to have... They're rare, but I'll be able to pick them up cheap enough. Nice to have one to start. And Hell's Gate. Commandramon is very much one of my um, favourite rares. Probably my favourite rare in the set. When you go to a pre-release, you'll get two, I believe it's Uncommons or Rares, stamped with the logo, the pre-release logo. So I am very much hoping one of mine is Commandramon. I mean, basically, the fact that we pulled Loose Mon in the box means it's already a good opening. Like, getting that as one of your two secrets or alternates pretty much guarantees that, you know, unless the box is impossibly bad from here on in, we've done good. Great one cost to evolve blocker in yellow decks. Pidamontes are a whole bunch of play. There's a lovely level three. There's your Skull Scorpion Mon. There's your Digitama. Dobermon, love the art. Don't really love the card. Sunarizamon, I do kind of like. And we got Izzy Azumi and Shine Greymon, which is only a rare. It's a cool card. It looks really good. It's got the gold trim, as do all the rares. It's one of those ones that at first glance kind of looks like a, a super rare. But it is, in fact, just a rare. So, now again, no complaining here. We've opened a loose mon. Loose mon is awesome. As it stands at the moment, we've opened one secret, no supers. Now, in booster 1.0 or 1.5, it was always seven supers and two alternate art or secret per box. I would think that's the same this time round. So let's roll from here, shall we? It also means with like 10 super rares or something and 7 per box, it means if you buy a couple of boxes outside of the alternate arts and maybe the secrets, you can you can collect the sets pretty easily. So we got ourselves a second Chaos Mon and a Trident Revolver. Nice. Okay, so we've already pulled two Chaos Mon and you lose one. That's pretty cool. I am looking for some more, some more chase cards, some more... Some supers and, like I say, a second secret or alternate. It might be, now I must confess, I've not been following the openings very closely, but I've not heard rumblings that the pull rates have dropped significantly in this set. 
So we are expecting some super rares to come out sooner rather than later. There's your Grap Leo Mon, your Regal Q's Mon, your Purgine, your final Zubagon Punch. There's another one of those sooner Rizamon. There's a Lotus Mon. There's one of your level twos. And we got Blinding Ray and Full Moon Blaster. Blinding Ray is another great, great rare card. It sees a huge amount of play as a zero cost option card in yellow decks. So things like your Chaos Mon, your Blinding Ray. These are the kind of rares you definitely want to be opening as you, as you go through your packs here. They are extremely cool cards. They are some of the best rares available. Oh, there's something shiny in this pack. So awkward to try and pick it up without seeing if there's anything shiny or not. Hippogriff Mon, love the name. See, look, you can see it shining through on this side here. So there's something shiny in there. Come on, a Nidogmon for me. I want to make a Nidogmon deck because I love me some green. So for me, I just want to open like 17 Nidogmon and I'll be a very happy. We'll see. What do we get? Chaos Mon Valderarm. That is another... Oh, yeah. Oh, and the other rare was Taikamiya, but I got kind of distracted. Incidentally, cool kind of Tamer sees a bit of play. Chaos Mon Valderarm is another card that you want to pull from the set. It is an extremely cool card. It sees a whole bunch of play in yellow decks. It's pretty much yellow's only option in terms of level 7s. But it does see a huge amount of play. It's almost like someone is telling me to play yellow. But maybe not yet. I don't know. To be fair, I love that Pulsemon promo. The pre-release promo. So maybe I could be convinced in that regard. Alrighty then. So, I'm very happy so far. Already got two regular Chaos Mom, and, you know, the, the chase cards we pulled so far are your Secret Rare Loose Mon and your Super Rare Chaos Mon Valderarm. I mean, come on. That is pretty ridiculous in, in terms of, you know, for those to be the first two cards out. I mean, I'm greedy. I still want the alternate art Loose Mon. That, that would make me very happy indeed. So we've got Marcus Damon and a Pluto Mon. So the Secret Rares are starting to drop now. Plutamon's all right. I've shown you winning decks with Plutamon. It's not my favorite of the of the set. Like I say, Nidogmon is my personal favorite. That's the one I'm after. And then you've got Chaosmon. Valderarm is, is one of the best as well. But, hey, I want to get one of each of the super rares. And honestly, right, at this stage, we're, we're talking house money. When you start off with your Loosemon and your Chaosmon Valderarm, it's pretty much house money from there on. I really would like a Nidogmon. And I'm sorry if this sounds a little bit a little bit um, demanding. But if I'm going to have an alternate art, um, could it please be Nidogmon or Loosemon? Because I can definitely trade Loosemon for Nidogmon. And that would make me very happy. So we've got Cyclonic Kick there. We've got ourselves a Jack Raid, a Burning Greymon. Oh, there's something shiny in this pack. Could it, could it be Nidogmon? Could it be Nidogmon? Ooh, War Greymon. And again... Now, I told you a little while ago, when we, when we started the video, I told you there were only a few alternate arts which were as hyped and at this early stage as, well, chasey, as pricey, uh, as a loose mom. I mean, you know, I'm looking on TCG Player here, and essentially it is loose mom, war grey mom, and nidog mom. And then chaos mom, valderam comes just below your secret rare loose mom. So to have already pulled the war grey mom, the loose mon and the chaos mon valderarm. Yes, this is turning into a phenomenal box, like absolutely phenomenal. Oh, uh, I kind of forgot that dude because I got too excited over war grey mom. But I mean seriously, right? If you're writing up a list of the cards you want to pull from the set, loose mons at the top. Again, let's take out alternate arts for a minute. You've got Loose Mom is your best secret rare above the Ancient Greymon and Garou Mom. And then Super Rares, you're talking about Nidog Mon, War Greymon, and Chaos Mon Valderarm. They are the ones you want to pull. So, like, at this stage, if we pull Nidog Mon, also, I'm here thinking about, oh, have pull rates dropped? I haven't seen any Super Rares yet. We just knocked out three in very quick succession. But if, if we can pull a Nidogmon from this box now, we are into like proper broken box territory at this stage. We are getting to the stage of like, holy moly, that's a ridiculous box. 
So we got Yoshino and we've got Marin Chimeramon. Yeah, let's go for that. Nice. To be fair, we do need the rares to um I have I have a little binder off to the side here where I am collecting one of all the cards. Now promos, I'm probably not gonna complete them. I'm doing my best. And I've given up on alternate arts. But I am trying to complete sets other than alternate arts. Secret rares are a bit of a pain. We'll see if I bother with those too much going forward or not. I mean, playable secret rares are an issue, but like I say, the, the worst one I have at the moment is Loose Mon, and we have Loose Mon. So taking out the alternate arts, I do want one of every card. So, so far we're doing all right. We're doing all right. There's your Agumon, your Dietramon, your Lyle Mon. Oh, looks like there might be something shiny in here. There's Sound Bird Mon, there's Lala Mon, there's Bushy Agamon. Bancho Leomon and a Blastmon. Nice. Alrighty then. Again, not one of the, the better super rares out there, but again, we're going to have to start pulling some of the not so great ones because we've already pulled War Greymon and, and Chaosmon, Valderam. So that'll do very, very nicely indeed. So we're halfway through now. We have done the first half of the box. And we could basically stop here and call this an unqualified success. Loose Mon, Chaos Mon, Valderan, War, Greymon. Those three between them, that, that, that's better than just, you know, that, that's a box right there. That is a good box, those three cards. We've also got Plutamon and Blastmon. So we are now expecting from the second half of the box, three super rares and one secret rare or alternate art. The other secret rares are the ancient ones, Garurumon and Greymon. So it seems like pull rates are absolutely intact. And the first half of that box was ever so slightly better in terms of numbers than the second half. In terms of pulls, I suspect it might actually end up being quite a lot better. So there's your Devamon. There's a Blimpmon there. Your Xiaomon. Chromon. Anubismon. Still like Anubismon. Orochimon. And a second Taikamiya. Those are your rares. And that's the thing I really like about Digimon packs. I mean, I, I love I mean, I love cracking boxes of any card game, right? You, you see me on this channel. I've got my Pokemon channel. That's the main one. And this is kind of the other games channel. Although nothing against these games. I love all of these games, obviously. But you see me, you know, with Digimon and Final Fantasy and, and Transformers when it was still going. I love cracking boxes and packs and all of that. But there's something kind of beautiful knowing that every pack of Digimon is going to give you two rares. And every box is going to give you seven super rares and two full art slash secret rare. Because firstly, nine good chase cards in 24 packs is awesome. And secondly, it means you're going to open a lot of cool stuff in your box. Now it looks like there's something fine in here. I like the art on Spinermon. Come on, give me Nidogmon. Give me Nidogmon! There's Seals Dramon. There's Hell's Gate. Oh, it's the alternate art of Blastmon. I see what this box is doing now. Now, look, I'm aware the box is not actually a sentient being, but... Pl oh, I, did, I knocked it. I knocked the camera. But let's just play along for a minute. So I start off with the first half of the box, and my box is like, hey, have a loose mon. That's a really good card. Chaos Mon, Valdera, War Greymon. What else do you want, Wossy? I'm here for you. And then it gives me double Blastmon. I'll be honest with you, I'm not delighted with the pull. Because I would have adored Secret Rare, Nidogmon obviously, War Greymon, Loose Mon, one of the other Secret Rares. It's not exactly a, um, a top tier pull. But again, we started off in the first half of the box of Loose Mon, Kesmon, Valderam and War Greymon. There will be no real complaining about the alternate art being one of the lesser alternate arts. And to be fair, it's still a super rare alternate art. It's still very cool. So we should, in theory, have three super rares to go and a whole bunch of rares. So there's your Leomon. There's your Strabamon. Hybrids are here. There's your Growlmon. Your Bakemon, who's clearly not baking a cake. Your Raziomon. There's your Bukamon. Pollen Spray. Ooh! And Beowulfmon. Now that is a super rare. It's weird, we're not used to necessarily seeing level 5s as super rares. But this is a very, very cool card. Again, it's not one of your, you know, top level super rares. 
but it's still very cool. So we had kind of a loose mon, big dry spell, that the chase cards are now coming thick and fast. By my estimation, and I may have been miscounting, I think we've got two super rares to go now from the rest of the box. And I want Nidogmon. Now, I've already asked my local game store to save me a box of these. More dash packs, more great legend power packs, more everything, and of course, more cards. So I can still get a Nidogmon there, but like with Serasmon in Booster 1.5, I intend to play Nidogmon. So I don't want a Nidogmon, I want a play set of Nidogmon. So, getting one in box number one would be rather nice indeed. So, what have we got here? Cerberus Mon, Werewolf Mode, and Dark Dramon. Now, Dark Dramon is my other favourite rare in the set. Commander Mon and Dark Dramon. They are the ones I'm after. And obviously Chaos Mon, because everyone wants that one. But they are the kind of stamped pre-release cards I really want. Commander Mon, Dark Dramon. If you do have a pre-release Commander Mon or Dark Dramon that you picked up at the pre-release. I've not been able to pick mine up yet, unfortunately. But if you have picked yours up, and you do have a pre-release Command Dramon or Dark Dramon, please hit me up on Twitter at the Wossy. We will orchestrate a trade. I want pre-release Command Dramon and Dark Dramon. It's a deck I'm really quite excited about. You can swarm Command Dramon, and then if you've got five D Brigade Digimon in your trash, you can actually play Dark Dramon as a free cost, and it's got Rush, so you can attack right now, it's an extremely cool card I'm a rather huge fan of. It looks like we got one of those last two remaining super rares. Is it? Oh, there's another Commander Mon. I love him. And Dan Devamon. Okay, so we've got two Commander Mon, one Dark Dramon. Now, in terms of the cards from this set that I'm going to be really just buying singles after my boxes, it's Commander Mon and uh, Dark Dramon. They're the ones I'm going to really be trying to pick up. I basically want to play Dark Jamon and Nidogmon. They are the decks I want to make and have a whole bunch of fun with. Dan Devamon, of course, very interesting. They introduced it in the anime. And then I think it was literally the next day they were like, hey, that brand new Digimon we've just revealed. Um, yeah, here's a card of it. And they stuck it up on the Twitter. Very cool card. Now, by my estimations, and I could be wrong here, but I believe that leaves one super rare for the remaining packs. And I'm going to give you my usual, my usual warning here. Be very, very careful buying loose packs of Digimon. Because you are guaranteed, I said, well, unless something goes wrong, you are basically guaranteed seven super rares and two alternate arts or secrets. A lot of the time, you will find yourself having, oh, okay, we've got Ghostmon and Dark Roar. You will find that you'll often open up your last super rare, and you'll have two or three packs left. And you will basically know for a fact that those packs don't contain super rares or alternate arts. Now, to be fair, they could still contain stuff like Chaos Mon or um, Blinding Light or things of that nature. But still, you're going to kind of know that they're not in there. So are other people. So when you're buying random loose packs on eBay, etc., please be fully aware that... They may know there's not a super rare in them. Please be careful. I know it sucks to say it, but I like you guys. I mean, you're watching my video, right? I like you. I want to make sure you're not being ripped off. We got Rizalmon. We got one last chance for Nidogmon. Ah, where is it to? Oh, it's not Nidogmon. It's Lilamon. Well, that's not. It's a green super rare. It's not the same. It's actually a very, very cool card. Because it's got Digiburst and lets you suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. I like it. But, yeah. Second half of the box, not quite as good as the first half of the box. I think it is fair to say. I mean, from the second half of the box, we started with our alternate art Blastmon. And then we got Lobamon, Dundevamon, and Lilamon. Again, there will be no complaining here. Because we opened up three phenomenal cards right off the bat. No Nidogmon. But, put it this way, a regular art Nidogmon, I'm going to be able to pick up moderately cheaply, so I'm not too worried. Loosemon, 
not the same. So, now in theory here, and I never would, I'm not a horrible person, but I've got five cards here that I am, five packs I should say, that I am fairly sure don't contain a super rare or an alternate art. So I could go and sell these on eBay now for, I don't know, 354 quid. People go and buy loose packs and they're guaranteed not to get the super rares. But then again, I still want more Blinding Light, Commandramon, Darkdramon, Chaosmon. There's a Victory Greymon and a Mac Galgamon. Victory Greymon's kind of cool. Plus, of course, I want to get one of each rare for my collection. Plus, I would never do that, but you do need to, you do need to bear that in mind. So it doesn't look like we pulled Nidogmon. And we didn't get Grand Wagamon from our dash packs. But, like I say, this is not going to be the very last box that we ever open. There will be more boxes. Well, there will be at least one more box. We'll see how much I can justify after that. Jemitiamon, you have a Minimon, like saying that word. Kendogururamon, there's your Dobamon, there is your Banjo Golamon, Kari Kami and Aldamon? Cool. Um, hang on a second. If I'm not mistaken, that makes eight super rares. Let's double check that quickly. So much for me sitting here saying, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's still not a Nidog Mom. So I've got an extra one and it's still not a Nidog Mom. Let me check. I might have miscounted. No, I have not miscounted. That is eight super rares in one box. So I'm going to need to go and do some digging here and, you know, let me know in the comment section if you found yourself opening. Because in Booster 1.0 and 1.5, it was definitely seven. Have you found yourself opening? That's exactly one in three now. One in three packs has one of these kind of chase cards in. Sweet. Could, could there be another? Who knows, eh? But I think, there's, I think there's 10 super rares, 12 super rares, sorry. There are 12 super rares in the set. It says it right on the back of the pack. And I've now got two thirds of them just from box one. Still no Nidogmon, but hey-ho. And yes, I am going to keep complaining about my lack of Nidogmon until I pull a Nidogmon or give up and buy one. So, have they upped it to eight for this set? That'd be kind of cool. So we've got a Marcus Damon and a War Growlmon. So that's the big question now, of course. Have they upped it to eight Super Rares per box? Which is awesome if they have. That will really bring down the price of Super Rares. Or have I just gotten super lucky? And as well as pulling multiple very good cards, I've also pulled an extra Super Rare. Gonna be honest, I would like it if that was the case. It would make me feel special, right? we got two packs left, and I really don't think we've got any more Super Rares to come now. I could, of course, be wrong. There's your final Zubagon Punch, your Kudamon, your Anubis Mom, your Tactical Retreat, your Baboon Gamon, and then we've got Z Garumon, haven't seen one of those yet, and Bancho Leo Mom. So, one pack left, wouldn't mind a third Commandramon, a second Darkdramon, a second Blinding Light. These are, these are rare cards I would be very, very happy with. I mean, to be fair, even amongst the rares, we've ended up with two Chaos Mon and we've ended up with two Commandramon. So, that's kind of cool. Could there be one last good card? Let's roll. So, we've got a Gabimon there and a Dokunamon and a Growlmon and a Galgamon. There is a Spinamon, a Roachmon. I'll drag you into the depths. And we've got Mr. Tom and Pollen Spray. All right. Maybe not the best last pack ever. But I don't think it really matters very much, if I'm honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. I am, frankly, delighted with this box. This is a wonderful box. So we ended up with the Secret Rare Loose Mon and the Alternate Art Blast Mon. And then we ended up with Super Rares, the good ones there. We got War Growl Mon, Chaos Mon Valderan. And there was one of a really good one, was there not? Eh, maybe not. And then we ended up with Plutamon, Aldamon, Blastmon, Beowulfmon, Dandevamon, and Lylamon. And then, of course, we also had our Black War Greymon and our Metagururamon from the promo packs, as well as the Hollow Gatamon and the Agunamon from the other promo pack. Frankly, ladies and gentlemen, 
I think if, if, if you buy a box of Digimon and it comes out like this, I think you should probably be pretty happy. I am willing to go out on a limb here and say that this was a very good box. So I suppose we should give one more shout out to Millie Mods Gaming. Seriously, I've been shouting about this since this game launched. Can we please, please, please make an effort to support the shops that have supported us? Not to support the shops that were ripping us off when Booster 1.0 came out, but have now dropped their prices because they have to because everyone else has. Can we support the shops that never raise their prices and always looked after us like Millibods Gaming? I use Millibods. They have hooked me up a bunch. They were the people from whom I bought my Tamers Evolution box. They are a very cool site. And I'm not doing a sponsored opening with them because they asked. Although that is obviously part of the reason. It's not the only reason. It's because they're cool. It is a shop that I can happily sit here and be like, I support this shop. This shop is cool. I recommend them very, very highly. There are many, many online sellers I would not say that about. There is a reason that I'm shouting about Millibods and not somebody else. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, we are a little bit early. I know a lot of you haven't got your boxes yet. But tell me what you think about my box and when you've opened one. Drop down below and tell me what you got. I'd love to hear from you. Go nuts. Be nice. And then the usual deal. Comment, like, subscribe. Look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching a pretty happy Wassy Plays. Bye.